Mesta. Hey guys. Hey guys. So we're in Solon Island in the beautiful Dominican Republic. Uh, we went on a day excursion. So this video will be just footage from our trip. Salona Island is located off the southeastern coast of Dominican Republic and it is a very popular tourist destination. I highly recommend anyone traveling to Dominican Republic to visit this island because it is so beautiful and breathtaking. There are a number of ways you can actually get to Salona Island. A lot of resorts will offer tours to go to Salona Island. You can also purchase tours online, which is what we did through TripAdvisor. Um, we just found that the pricing was more favorable online compared to what the resort was offering, but it's completely up to you how you decide to book the trip. So what will happen is the tour operator will pick you up from your hotel in Punta Cana, which is where we were staying. And the price that we paid, I believe it was around $80 Canadian per person. And that includes like all of the hotel transfers, the transportation, entrance fees, lunch, and we had like drinks as well included. So we really didn't have to bring money to buy anything additional unless of course you want to buy like food or any souvenirs or anything like that. And then of course tip money to tip the tour operator for the trip. They pick you up from Punta Cana from your hotel and it's about an hour and a half to two hour drive to the port. And then when you reach the port, we're there for about like 20 minutes. So you can use the restroom if you need to, if you need to buy any drinks or if you need to buy any food. They also have like a lot of vendors there selling souvenirs so you can purchase souvenirs there as well. And then we got on a speedboat that then took us to a catamaran. And then we went on this catamaran, as you can see, it's off in the distance there. Um, but we went on those catamarans and had like a really nice sail to Sauna Island. The catamaran was really nice. They had music playing. There was all you can drink um, beverages and it was just a really good time. And um, there's also a photographer that is with the group the entire time. And if you wanted to purchase pictures, you could do a photo shoot with him. And then they had different packages for pictures that were available if you wanted to do that as well. So there are a lot of people that actually go on this tour every single day. So what they sort of do is split it up. They'll have half the people take a speedboat to the catamaran and sail to Sauna Island. And then when you're leaving, you would just come back on a speedboat to the mainland. Or the other half, they would take a speedboat directly to Sauna Island so they get there first and they can you know, relax, go in the water, have their lunch, and then when they're returning, they take the catamaran back. There are different methods to going and coming, but you do get to experience the speedboat and the catamaran with this tour. It is a really nice tour. I definitely recommend you going if you haven't been before. This was actually my first time going to Sauna Island, and I go to the Dominican Republic every year, um, but I just never thought to go there, and it was definitely worth the money, to be honest. I thought it was a great day. Um, all of the people that were on the tour with us had a great time. The operators themselves were really friendly and engaging. And um, they, I believe they talked to like everybody that was on the tour. You could tell that they really were passionate about what they do. So I definitely recommend taking the tour. A few things that I would recommend is number one, make sure you bring sunscreen. It gets so hot and when you're on the catamaran, that sun just blazes on you. It's crazy. I spend all day on the beach when I'm on vacation, but for some reason when the sun was hitting us on the catamaran, it felt super intense. So definitely bring sunblock. Also, you know, if you're going to be swimming in the water, you might want to have a change of clothes and bring a towel if you're doing like any water activities. I mean, you definitely don't have to go swimming if you don't want to, but if you do, which I highly recommend you do because the water is crystal clear blue, it's shallow, so it's safe for children. If you're bringing children with you on this tour, they'll have a good time as well. You'll see footage a bit later of the water. It's beautiful and also bring snacks. So lunch is included, 
but that day because they picked us up so early from the hotel we didn't really get a chance to eat breakfast like I had a slice of toast and that was it so I was really hungry and the lunch personally I didn't think it was the best lunch like you could it was okay I guess but I personally didn't like it so I didn't eat too much so I was really hungry throughout the entire day and we didn't get back to the hotel until about 8 p.m. so I was really hungry I wish I had more snacks we did bring like some pistachios but it wasn't enough we definitely needed more snacks than that so bring snacks also if you do get motion sick I would recommend bringing some sort of medication. I took a pill before we went on the boats and I took a pill before we left Sauna Island coming back on the speedboat and I was okay. I felt okay, but I know for a fact if I didn't take my medication, I would have felt a bit nauseous on the boat. The water is really calm, but for some reason once I start feeling any sort of swaying, I don't feel too good. So bring motion sickness medication if you do suffer from that. So right now we are actually at Salana Island. We were on the catamaran for a bit and I was just tired so I took a nap. LeVar wasn't feeling too good. Yeah, but I'm okay now. It's okay now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we're just enjoying the water a bit before we go for a lunch. Yeah, so this is our view right now. Absolutely beautiful. It was raining. It was raining this morning, so we thought the trip was gonna be canceled. But the sun popped out out of nowhere, so that's good. Yep. Um, for everyone who doesn't know, Sound Island is on the Caribbean side of the um, Dominican Republic. So as you can see, the waters are very calm here, nice. Yeah, it's the Caribbean Sea, so it's calm. Whereas where we're staying in Punta Cana, it's on the Atlantic Ocean, so it's a bit more wavier, I would say. Different parts of the beach are wavier than others, but here it's just calm. Really, really nice. All in all, I thought it was a great trip. I highly recommend anyone that's visiting Dominican Republic to see Salana Island. It truly is a beauty, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.